Hello and welcome. This little video is something a little bit different. This is doing some urban sketching. So usually I just do like a plein air where I'm out doing landscapes and flowers and stuff. But this time I figured I'd take you along with a little urban sketching I did. I started the morning with dropping off our daughter at preschool. And then I headed over to the Gov Cup or the Governor's Cup in Salem, Oregon. And I brought my little plein air painting kit. So I'm just using my extra sketchbook and then my micro portable painters palette. Um, you can check out this video here um, linked in the description and above for what colors I'm using in my little painting palette. I started this out by sketching all the basic areas. And when I say the basic areas, I mean like the landmarks of the um, landscape. So like the doorway, the little alcove, um, some bookcases, areas where all the plants are, tables, all that good stuff. And I wasn't really worrying about being picture perfect because I just wanted to do the, the feel of being at this little coffee house. It was actually quite loud. Um, I was there on, this was uh, St. Patrick's Day, actually. And so there are quite a bit of people there um, doing this and that, getting coffee, of course, breakfast. And, they, you know, sometimes people bring work along. I brought my paints along and I sat on the second level and painted. And when I painted, I didn't have like the perfect view because there's these um, lights that hang down. So I had to work around those, which, you know, it's not that big of a deal. That's the cool thing about painting is that it's not a photograph. You can add details or omit details. It's all up to you. And if you're curious, I did get a bagel of cream cheese and a hot, dirty chai. I am actually not big into the coffee. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like the flavor. So I've liked chai for a while now. And I just recently started ordering dirty chais, which have a shot of coffee in it. And usually when I do order dirty chai, I ordered a spiced dirty chai or a dirty chai with like different flavors to help mask the flavor of coffee. But I need the caffeine because lately your girl's been working. <laughs> so parts of this video I'll be chatting and other parts you can just listen to some music that I found that's like nice and relaxing and totally gives the vibe of this coffee shop. So I hope you enjoy.
you will see in this little sketchbook spread that I don't do every detail of everything. I want to give the feeling of being there, the ambiance. It's not always about the details, it's about the big picture. For the brick wall, I just did some suggestions of the bricks and then your mind can like fill in the rest of the details. It's so amazing, the human brain, it can like connect the dots if you just give a suggestion. So you don't have to do every single detail. I mean, sometimes it can be fun to do every single detail or it can drive you crazy, <laughs> but you don't have to do every single detail. That's the amazing thing about watercolor painting is that, or painting in general, honestly, or drawing, you don't have to do all the details. You have to do like the suggestions and then people's brains will fill in the rest of the gaps. <laughs> If you are enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe. I thought this was the perfect place to paint at on St. Patrick's Day because of the color of their wall. It's like this really vibrant, rich green with a hint of turquoise. And so I'm like, well, I have green on. Might as well paint something that's green that's not a landscape. I mean, there's also some plants plants are in landscapes, but this is definitely urban sketching, painting. It was a lot of fun. It was a different way for me to work my brain and figure out how I wanted to paint things. And I was just painting. I was like, oh no, I sketched that wrong spot. You know what? I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to keep on going. It's about the experience sometimes more than the end product is about the journey, the journey of watercolors. It can be a twisting, winding road, but you know, you don't have to stress about it because every painting you do, even if it's not perfect, you learn something from it. You gain a little bit more knowledge. So it's really important to get those um, called brush miles. So the more you use your paintbrush, the more miles you walk or paint and so the more you do it the more you learn
Well, I want to thank you so much for watching this little video. If you've made it all the way to here, I would love for you to leave a comment about what you like to order at a coffee house or, you know, like a little cafe. Like, what is your go-to order? Do you have a go-to order? Mine is nowadays a dirty chai. Um, sometimes, uh, oh, I know, summertime my little coffee shop down the street, maybe I should go there and paint as well. Um, I figured out my favorite summer drink. It is an iced dirty chai with salted caramel. So I don't know what it is, but it tastes so amazing. It's perfect. It's literally like a dessert. <laughs> So that's my summer go-to at that coffee shop. I don't know if other coffee shops can do it. I'll have to ask, I guess. Um, the other day, I also <clears throat> the other day I also tried a different drink um, at another coffee shop. Um, there's a couple in like Albany and Salem and Kaiser. It's called Bentley's, and I got their blended dirty chai with lavender. Yeah, that was that was pretty tasty too. So like, there's like all kinds of things. I also like um, hazelnuts and gosh, what else? But yeah, I like to cover up the flavor of coffee. So leave a comment of what your go-to order is. Um, it'd be really fun to see what people's interests are. You know, maybe you see something like, you know what? I never thought of that. I'm going to try it. So those were just a couple of what I like to order. Well, thank you so much for following along and watching me paint at the Gov Cup during St. Patrick's Day in the morning. <laughs> um, I hope this has inspired you. You don't have to paint something super elaborate. It can just be a little sketch, a little doodle, just something for you to work on your drawing or painting. You know, it can just be something fun. It doesn't have to be two pages in your sketchbook, just something something is better than nothing. If you make a tiny little kit and just bring it along with you, whenever you're inspired, you're not like, well, darn, I didn't bring anything. I'm really inspired right now. You don't have to run into that dilemma. You can just be like, oh, this is amazing here. I'm just going to 
bring out my paints real quick. Well, maybe not real quick, but you're going to bring out your paints and then you don't have to do a highly detailed painting. You just do something to capture the colors, to capture, capture the mood, maybe the composition, you know, just don't leave yourself hanging. Get ready to be creative this year. Thank you again so much for watching. And, uh, you know, I will see you in the next video.